Hello and welcome to this first tutorial on Hannibal Noor's YouTube channel. Uh, and we're going to be going over a tutorial for Songs of Six, uh, where uh, we're going to be preparing for our first raid. Uh, after we got a comment in the comment section uh, uh, requesting that, so I thought that was a fairly reasonable video to make, and I'll try to uh, to give you all the knowledge that I could possibly think of uh, to prepare for uh, your first raid. Now, uh, when you get your first raid, you will get a message like this. Hello friend, we are a band of noble people keeping the peace in the region of uh, Vingevel's island. As you know, there are evil forces out in the world bent on destruction and conquest. We, however, are a lover of peace and would like to offer you protective service. But soldiers have to eat and we kindly ask you to ship us uh, a certain amount of denarius and let's say 10% of your goods in order to keep the peace. It's quite the bargain. We await your reply and looking forward to hearing from you within four days. And then we get a little bit of a, a very important information if we are going to be trying to deal with these soldiers here. So our scouts report that these people have a force of somewhere around 11 soldiers with 30% training and 31 uh, equipment. So we kind of know how uh, great of a force that will uh, come and attack you. Now, you're going to have to make a decision. Let's just get some people in here. There we go. Um, first of all, you're going to have to make a little bit of a decision on what type of troops you would like. Now, you could have a training ground, make melee troops. So, uh, let's make a little bit of a, um, a room here where they can train. So, here we can have up to 36 people. Uh, so, let's just... Make sure that they have a way to go in here. And you could also make... Um, um, <laughs> let's see here. A military archery range. There we go. So let's make that here. So we can train up to eight people at a time here. Which requires us some uh, bows and some arrows. So... Uh, yeah, we kind of don't need to build this because we're not going to be focusing too much on it. it the, the concept is the same, um, although ranged, art, uh, or ranged troops are kind of good to have in an army. Uh, but for now, we, we probably don't need that. So there we go. We have our first training ground. Uh, then we're going to go up here and click up here. So here we can see all the different di divisions we can uh, muster here. Uh, we are uh, going to train, what are the 36 we could train here, so let's train uh, th 30 troops, that seems fine. And we're going to give them a little bit of training here, so we can give them either melee training or range training. If we're going to give them range training, we're going to have to build uh, an archery training. Uh, we are going to be training them just a little bit, because um, we're not going to be having a standing army. If, if they are... If you give them five nudge, you can kind of also mix this. Let's say you would like to have some fairly good uh, troops and they should also be able to, you know, shoot some arrows here and there uh, just as a, a, a precursor to a charge or something like that. You can do that. But if you have five, I think it's five. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's only four. <laughs> so if you have uh, four... Uh, nudge or let's say two here and two here they will always be training that basically means you have a standing army so um, when you have that uh, army and you have kind of configured it the way you want it let's say we do that if you have armor uh, you can give them armor but that is also going to affect how quick uh, these people move so um, it's kind of like Putting up like a big piece of armor, it's going to slow you down uh, and kind of also hinder your movement a little bit. So the more armor you have, look at that, minus one in movement. Uh, you can also give them quite a lot of these, which also going to give them quite a lot of uh, speed uh, penalty. Uh, I don't think you get speed penalty for melee weapons, it seems like, uh, or quivers. Now, if you're going to have arrows, I would definitely... Uh, recommend giving them some uh, arrows to shoot. If not, you know, uh, a bow is a terrible uh, melee weapon in itself. It's basically just a stick. So, um, so yeah, 
we uh, want to have 30 soldiers. We're going to give them just a little bit of melee training. Now, we don't have any equipment here. Uh, we could go in and give uh, them equipment. I did uh, activate the developer tool so I can uh, show you a, a little bit if need be. Uh, we are um, going to train these soldiers here. So uh, let's get that going. We're just going to go full speed ahead, train them up. So when it flashes blue here. They are in training. Uh, minus 12 people. There we go. The green is basically the troops that we have. So they're still going to be training, but eventually they're going to be saying, yeah, I've had enough training. They will train until they get to plus 1.5 in offensive skill, plus 1.5 in defensive skill, and blood damage. So... I'm not quite sure if it says in here. Yeah, okay, it does. So so they will train here, and, and these numbers will uh, probably go up, I think. The offensive skill. So they will train until they reach that number. Um, so he will go in and train again. I'm not quite sure if we can see this uh, raise up. But, uh, but yeah, that's basically their goal. They will train until they, they meet that criteria. So, uh, so yeah, you kind of have a standing army. They're not, like, fully trained yet, but you can muster them if you like. And uh, that we shall. Uh, also, by the way, something we probably should go over. So, we were attacked by Vingvel's Island. Now, this is probably different from uh, what you will experience, because uh, the map is randomly generated. Um, you can get, like, the same seed, uh, which you can see in um, in um, our um, ep first episode. I think we posted the seed and everything. It should be in the first episode of uh, version 0 0.61, Unleash Hell. So, they will muster a little army here if you kind of fail to, to kind of... Uh, if you don't pay up. Let's say you just click that away. You don't want to see that anymore. So, after four days... They will get angry, and then they will muster a little army here. And then they will send those 11 men down here. Uh, for our purpose, they usually come down here. So they will come from the north side. And uh, if we see up here in the north side, there should be a little orange line here. Um, and this is kind of their spawning uh, area. So um, if you have a building here, they probably will spawn here and just go and whack that building. Uh, and they will destroy the buildings. Um, they, they, they will definitely do it. Um, I have had a couple of walls being torn down and also a couple of buildings that have been damaged by the raid. Uh, they will try to set up some catapults uh, around, well, wherever they feel like, and then they will try to, uh, to shoot and they will try to get down to your throne. So if your throne is heavily defended, uh, with uh, walls and such, they're gonna have to uh, make uh, a little bit harder effort to try to get into it. And if they get into it, since it's uh, basically just raiders, they will just take a bunch of your stuff. Um, and of course, potentially kill some people uh, along the way, like uh, some farmers here, and some pottery workers, and potentially also some cow well, onyx and... Um, some of these people here on their way down here and we kind of don't want that to happen so that's kind of why we are going to be mustering our troops uh, by mustering our troops uh, you don't click here you don't do anything in here you click on this battle uh, tab here and here you can see all the uh, different divisions you can have uh, another thing we can go th over here with the division now, this is not set in stone. You can uh, kind of make this the way you want it to look. So we can do it like that, or you can change the color of it. Uh, so you can kind of make uh, whatever. So yeah, this is, uh, you know, we probably should have made it look like a pitchfork, shouldn't we? Um, so, um, so yeah, let's make it a pitchfork. There we go. A pitchfork, uh, basically just to, uh, to, and, and also you can rename them. Let's say uh, we'll call this uh, the Great Pitchfork 
yeah, the Great Pitchfork. That is basically the town militia name, the Great Pitchfork. So uh, when you want to muster them, you go back into this battle uh, tab here. And um, then you click here and muster. And then you should be able to send your troops out here. It's going to take a while before they, they kind of get to... Well, actually, they, they got it very quickly. But they will kind of get... Let's say we had a person down here that was working. They kind of have to walk all the way up and form up um, into the army. And then they will go up here. Now, remember, these people kind of need to eat eventually. So you can't just have them standing there forever. They will basically starve to death if you if you keep them in the army too long. So there we go. We have, I think, all of our people here, and then you can kind of tell them to uh, to go wherever you you like. Um, so let's send them up here. You also have a couple of commands here. Um, so when soldiers are in position, they will uh, break it and pursue uh, the enemy. So um, if you just want to have like a a wall of people here, uh, you probably want to have. This. So basically, if the enemies are fleeing, they will kind of give chase and try to hunt them down. Uh, you also have um, a tight formation, so they will um, uh, stay a little bit closer. And if you are facing quite a lot of uh, archers, I will recommend a loose formation, which kind of makes it a little bit harder for them to get hit. Um, now... If we had given these uh, bows and arrows, we could have toggled fire, of, uh, fire at will uh, on them. Uh, but since we don't have it, they are just going to be, you know, a melee unit. Um, you can kind of make them uh, run quicker. That probably uh, makes them a little bit more tired and you can also give them a charge command which basically they will just rush in, um, in a straight line um, until well I'm not quite sure <laughs> let's see how far they're gonna run they, they, they really are charging here. so they charged all the way up to they met uh, the wall here basically so um, so yeah basically if we were attacking a wall I, I, I guess a charge feature would be good because then they will just rush down into the wall potentially dodging some arrows and some uh, catapults uh, along the way but that's basically how you muster your troops now uh, we have another segment here which we haven't talked about we have the artillery because we can now build catapults um, so if we go over here and to fortifications we could build a catapult. Now, the catapult has a very... It's slow. It is not very uh, accurate. But it hurts when you hit stuff with them. So, uh, so let's build that. Let's, uh, let's give us some iron. I think we're kind of low on everything here. Um, let's see. Resources. Well, we're going to need some metal. Uh, we're also going to need uh, some of those, right? Some arrows. Uh, let's uh, also, while we are doing that, let's uh, demuster our army. So we'll do that. So now they can go back to their job. Um, and for some reason... There we go. So we should be able to, uh, to build this uh, rather quickly. Let's see, how are we doing? Uh, we should have all the materials that we need. Uh, didn't we demuster our army? Uh, no, because they're still training, so we'll, we'll just take them away. So now they should be able to help us uh, build the catapults. It's kind of expensive in in early on. Now, I think you're going to need at least uh, six odd jobbers to man the catapult. I don't know if they will pull workers from um, the potential workforce here. Let's let's, uh, let's give uh, let's let's give ten people here. So now that we have a catapult, and let's say we get attacked, they will set up a catapult somewhere around here as well. Um, now the range is uh, you can't turn this. You're gonna have if you, if you want to kind of defend from all sides, um, that's not gonna be happening. 
uh, you're going to have to... Um, let's see here. That is our 10 troops here. Actually, there's only one there now, but, um, you know, here, you're going to have to muster this as well. So, if you see here, yeah, we need six people. And I, I think they will just pull from the village. Yeah, there we go. We have six people here. Now the catapult is ready to fire. Or kind of. It needs to be loaded first. But here you can see the range. So from here, yeah, they can shoot everything within this range here. So it's not like a super large uh, range. But you also have a minimum range if, uh, if you have um, troops uh, coming in. And let's say this is on a wall. Um, then you can't fire at them within this range because basically it's it's not going to work. But uh, from in here you can bombard an area. Let's bombard this tree here uh, and see how that turns out. So they're going to be loading the catapult and soon they will fire it. it takes a long time to kind of load and, and, and prime the catapult. There we go. So he turns in that direction and he shoots. And uh, as you can see, it's not a very accurate uh, thing, but if they have a large army, uh, you should be able to hit something at least, hopefully. Uh, but if they have like what we saw here, what was it, 11 people? Yeah, it's going to be harder to hit things with a catapult because you know, they are also moving. So, uh, so that's also something you can take in consideration. Now, you could click on this, fire at will. It will basically just fire upon um, uh, everything. And, and also, if you don't want to bombard that, you just uh, click uh, stop there. And they will um, fire at uh, the enemy. So, uh, so, yeah. I think perhaps that is uh, everything. Now... Um, we have the aspect of walls. Uh, if you uh, want to have uh, a group of archers on the wall, you're going to need a minimum of a three wall. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that built. Uh, we could just uh, go uh, over here and give them some um, wood, if that is possible. Yeah, let's just give them a... Hefty amount of wood. There you go. Congratulations. You won the, the wood lottery. So, there we go. So, they can only... They, they can't walk on the tile, the, the outmost tile or the tile here. So, if we go in... By the way, did we ever uh, deselect our troops here? Yeah, let's unmuster them again. And then we're also going to have to build another little thing here. Because, you know, they can't just climb up on the wall. They're going to need a staircase to get up here. So, uh, let's get that built as well. There we go. So, now we have a staircase up here. And now we're going to go back in and muster our troops. Um, so, uh, so, let's get them up here. It's probably going to take a little bit of while before they get here. Ah, there we go. And then... You see here, there is a blue line, so we could tell them to go here. Now we, uh, it's a little bit tricky, since we have a very tight line here. Um, so you can only have one row of people here. Um, so I, I would recommend this be uh, archers, for example, and rain down arrows on, on the incoming enemies. Um, Let's see, is there anything else we should go over? Now, the enemy will target your throne. They will march from the edge of the map down in here and uh, try to get to the throne. When, when they reach the throne, the raid is over and you will lose a bunch of your resources and potentially uh, a bunch of yours. Uh, uh, civilians that are in the way here and they, they might actually destroy a couple of these buildings here uh, on their journey towards the throne if you can't uh, meet them and um, yeah so so walls and such it's it's probably good to have this uh, throne 
a little bit more protected than we have. But we have, in our Let's Play, kind of just given up on the military uh, military for now. Uh, there might come a day when we uh, start uh, dealing with the military again. But yeah, I think that is everything. If you have any more uh, suggestions on how to uh, prepare for your first raid, um, don't be afraid to uh, leave that in the comment section. It might help some other people out. And of course, uh, don't be afraid to give this video a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, uh, don't be afraid to do that. It really helps us fight that pesky YouTube algorithm. So yeah, until next time, take care and keep smiling. <laughs>